We waited all week for the big showdown here in Lynchburg, and Montana and Liberty did not disappoint. The Flames with a big win over seventh-ranked Montana, 31-21. Alan York alongside Matt Camarian. When you look at this ball game, Matt, nobody really disappointed. The crowd was hype, and what a big win for Turner Gill and his team. Oh, my goodness. It was it was a game. I tell you what, we were excited coming into the game. The crowd was into it, record crowd. Uh, Coach Gill and his staff had these guys prepared. They jumped on them quick and jumped on them often. I think it's important to take the team out of it early, and that's what Liberty did. Montana won the toss, deferred to the second half. Liberty, methodical drive. Des Rice gets that first touchdown. Then they force a three and out. Then they go up top to Dante. You mentioned the early quick start, 14-0. That was so pivotal in this game. Absolutely. I tell you what, we talked about in the pregame, getting these other receivers involved. Dante Shells, we've seen him drop some passes, but he came up big on that post tonight and just took it downfield for 72-yard touchdown. There was some key moments in this ball game. Liberty had a couple of punts blocked. Late in the second quarter, Montana blocked the first punt, and Liberty forced a field goal, something they did really good against West Virginia early last week to hold on to that lead as they went into halftime. I thought the defense, that was the start of a big, big game for the defense. The defense played great. That's another thing we hit on in the pregame show and all through night, through tonight's broadcast is the defensive line playing against this Montana offensive line, which was huge. Chimu Uzuehi, amazing. Uh, Jerron Green, all these guys who are deep in the defensive line play great, put pressure on both quarterbacks for Montana and the fumble at the two yard line when Montana was driving, huge pivotal point in the game. Yeah, you mentioned the Liberty defense, seven sacks here tonight. Chima Uzuwe broke the Big South career record. He now has 22 and a half sacks. Liberty led 17-12 going into halftime. It was 24-19 after the big uh, circus play, if you will. Damian King, true freshman wide receiver, threw to Dante Shells. That put the Flames up 24-19 after a big throw down to Jamal Jones for Montana. Joey Counts had the football. The biggest play of the game, in Absolutely. my opinion, A.J. James with a big stick. They turned the ball over at the one-yard line, completely shifted the momentum of this game. Yeah, after that, we saw Liberty sort of turn it up a little bit. And what we haven't seen from this team in a long time is the ability to go into a close game, keep it close, and then actually finish them off. And that's exactly what they did tonight. Liberty finished the ball game with DJ Abner, who had a big 40-yard touchdown run to kind of seal the deals. Liberty wins it 31-21. to After the ball game, we've caught up with sophomore cornerback Tyron Holloway and Zach Parker, who had a career day offensively, along with the head coach, Turner Gill, as they shared their comments on the big win tonight. The game plan was uh, to, like, keep them from making a lot of – getting a lot of plays there. Hurry up offense. We got to keep them from getting a lot of plays. You know what I'm saying? Keep the ball in front. That's what we did. And, like – don't make them make big plays. They, they run off of big plays. That's why we just kept them from doing that. Came out with the victory. Third down, they had confidence in uh, their best wide. I, I give it to him. He's a great wide receiver. And I just, big plays. Uh, big time, I heard the crowd behind me. Just heard the crowd behind me. I was just like, I got to make a great, great play. And I just made a great play. Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, executed, we executed the game plan. Uh, came out with a win. And that's all I was hoping for. Um, I remember I came across, uh, caught the over route, then turned around and then tried to get as much as, much as I could. Uh, great block on the outside to help me keep running. And I just saw space and went with it. This win was definitely big for us because now we can go away for these four games and, and just focus on winning these games and executing and getting everything right that we missed from the day. So that's a great thing, getting a win versus Montana, because now we know we can compete with the best, like we've been knowing we could do from day one. Uh, our fans were fantastic. Uh, we love you. We thank you for all the things that you are here today, and you were definitely a factor uh, in this football game to help our players continue to play well. We're still getting better. We're getting better, and our guys are responding to, uh, to uh, top-notch opponents. And I think this win tells everybody across the country that uh, we're, we're to be reckoned with all across the country. We're a good football team. We've got a good football program, and we're going to be around for a while. You know, when two teams come in like they did at 1-1, one and one, it's a pivotal game. You could either end the game 2-1 and one or 1-2. One and two. Such a shift psychologically. Montana's going to go back 1-2. and two. They did lose their quarterback, Brady Gustafson, to a broken fibula in the second quarter. But Chad Chalik 
came in, did a pretty good job in relief, but the Flames just harassed him in that second half and made him not want to come back to Lynchburg anytime soon. Absolutely. That defensive line, we've talked about it a ton of times. They're so athletic. Coach Singletary does a great job of keeping his guys rotated in and out. And like you said, they harassed him all night. He was moving them out of the pocket and forced bad throws. Liberty now has won five of their last seven games against FCS ranked teams. We talked about this is the first time two top 15 teams have ever played at Williams Stadium. Record crowd 22,551. I bet they don't wish the game was over right now. They were having a lot of fun tonight. They were. Uh, Tim was telling me that everyone was up on the uh, hills on both sides. Uh, the student section brought in extra bleachers. They were all full. The students were into it the whole, the whole game. Uh, the energy was incredible. Now we shift the scene to the road. Four straight road games. First time since 2001. Liberty has had a stretch like this. It begins next week, one game at a time. Southern Illinois, team that's 0-2, but they have lost their two games to FBS Indiana and to Southeast Missouri, where they had seven turnovers. They have a really good quarterback, but Liberty has a lot of momentum heading to Carbondale next week. They do. The momentum in the Carbondale from this game hopefully will carry over, and these guys will get out there against Southern Illinois, uh, who's from the Missouri Valley Conference, the toughest conference a lot of people say in FCS. So uh, it's going to be a great matchup next week. It's going to be another game for Liberty to actually put themselves on the map and say, hey, we're here to stay. Liberty 2-1 and one with a 31-21 win over 7th-ranked Montana. The Flames checked in 14th in the country. Be sure to see them creep up in the polls as they come out on Monday afternoon. For Matt Camary, I'm Alan York for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.